Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to be doing another um, Alter Domino video. Um, I'm doing this because I'm, I'm actually creating um, one for um, one of my subscribers and um, wonderful customers in my Etsy shop and um, so I decided I would go ahead and do a video and I've got a bunch of them because I've sold almost all of the ones that I made before um, so I thought today I would do another domino video they seem to be kind of popular so um, that's what we're going to be doing today these are sort of all in different stages of the process as you can see some of them have the um, the uh, basils on them bezels basils <laughs> bezels on them um, and they're just kind of in different stages of the game and I did that purposely um, so that we could do uh, at least one finished domino in this video I've got some bling this is a beautiful look at this basket I got a uh, happy mail package from my friend Deanna the other day and she sent me a whole whole bunch of bling and stuff so I still have yet to I've gone through most of it but I know that I need to go through it another five times before I know exactly what's in here but I took out this little basket because I thought it was so cute this is made out of lace it's a soft basket and look at this is that the cutest thing ever I was so excited when I saw this basket and this is going to stay with me um, and I'm going to use it for I, whether it be bling or other things that I'm going to keep in this basket and keep it close to me while I work all the time. So I love this basket, Deanna. It is so cute. And I'm going to do a separate video to show you guys all of the great Happy Mail she sent me because it was really a beautiful, beautiful package. Um, she just floored me once again with all the, the gorgeous things that she sent me. Um, so anyway, this is the dominoes. These are a couple of pretty charms that I thought I might use on a couple of these. Um, and I pulled those out to show you guys. I also have a little tray here that I had already put together with some other bling on it. So we have bling. And um, I'm going to just kind of move these out of the way because I want to show you guys. I have been very... Um, <sighs> slow to act on my Etsy store giveaway for February. I know it's the end of the month and I'm sorry you guys that I have taken this long. I'm going to go ahead and show you a good amount of the things that are going into this month's um, winner package, raffle package. Now I don't have as many sales of the high dollar sales in the month of February probably because I didn't get this stuff together sooner. Um, so I, there's not right now a whole lot of competition, but I'm going to show you guys some of the things that are going into the February giveaway. And it's going to be awesome. So um, I just recently did a video on these, these um, picture frames that I did. And they're, they're ones that you can hang up on the wall and this is one of them and the video that I did I made this one let me move some of this stuff out of the way because it's just so this is one of the ones I did in the video or the one that I did in the video I should say and this is actually not a picture frame these little frames are something that my husband gave me and they're for um, electricians and he had used them they cover the, the switches, switch plates, um, for your electrical switches, your lighting switches and stuff. And so he had a, <clears throat> a few of these, and I asked him if I could have some because I thought I could do something really cool with them. And look at this. Is this not gorgeous, you guys? Um, and then this is one more that I did. Uh, this one is actually a picture frame from the Dollar Tree and you can see it's an, an actual picture frame 
And then this is another one of the light switch covers that I did. This is, I'm going to say, probably my favorite one. Um, I just love the way this turned out. And so aren't, aren't these super fun? So in saying that, one of these is going to go into this month's giveaway package for my Etsy shop. And um, so somebody will be getting one of these. And along with that, I made this little teeny turtle out of lace. Is that not the cutest thing ever? It's got a doily on its back. It's got a puffy, puffy top. And I used beads as the feet and a little pearl as his, her head. And then I just added some flowers and pearls and stuff to it. Is that not the cutest thing ever, you guys? Super cute. That's going to go into the giveaway. And then we've got all of this good stuff. So that being said, this package here contains one of those covers that you can use <clears throat> to create one of these. And since you'll be getting one of these in the package, you'll know kind of how I put it together. Um, I, <clears throat> I've included some extra things in here that you can use or not use in this. Here's some dangle lace that's super pretty. And I thought that would be nice to put on the bottom of one of these. And there's enough here for at least two of these, but I'm only putting one of these in the package. But look at that dangle. It's got sequins in it. Isn't that pretty? But I thought, oh, that would be so pretty on one of those. I'm going to be doing one of them with this um, at the bottom. So it's just like a fringy stuff. So you could use as little or as much as you wanted of that. And then in, in this baggie is also some trims and things um, that I have that I wanted to share. Um, and then this is another one that could be used at the bottom of a picture frame, a piece of um, lace. And it's a dangle lace as well. So, um, that is this bit that's going in there. And then of course you can see there's other trims and things like that in here that you can have some fun with. that's that package. I'm including some of my, uh, ha my own handmade um, shabby fabric trim and this is stuff that I have torn and shabbied up and um, I keep this on hand to make my bows and things like that with and it's amazing. It's very soft and it moves. It's got a lot of movement in it and I just love this fabric. So I'm putting some of that in there. A little piece of um, ribbon that is white with a silver trim. And I'm going to add that to the other bag that I just showed you. And then we've got this bag that also has some trims and things. <clears throat> Here's a little dangly flower. Super pretty. And this is a velvet double double um, ruffle trim. This is some yarn that I got from Gail over at Fava of Four. I just cut a little piece of what I had and put it in there. I thought somebody could definitely use that for something fun. There's uh, two pieces of tool. We've got some in a uh, dusty mauve color and some white. And two, two uh, short pieces of this um, silver trim. So a little bit of that's going in there and then a little piece of this one as well. And this has sequins, uh, silver sequins and kind of that uh, um, AB looking sequins. So, and that's in both of these little pieces of silver trim. 
So that's going in there. And then here's another little piece of lace that's kind of dangly that I thought somebody could use for something fun. And this is a piece of trim that I had. And I've got one piece of wedding dress lace that's going in there. So that is that little bag. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is kind of getting a little bit hoarse. It's probably the air. I'm having some issues with allergies right now because we're, we've been having, first we had really windy weather, then we had, we've been having rain for the last few days, and just, it's been back and forth. We never know what the weather's going to be like here in California from day to day this year. It's been really a strange year. We are getting more rain than usual this year, though, which is a good thing because we need it. Um, but here in California, people don't know how to handle the rain very well. <laughs> they don't drive well in it. Um, some areas even close to me within about a half hour away have been getting snow. So, yeah, it's been really crazy. So there's that bag. And then we have a little bag of bling, and I'm not going to take it out. There's just lots of pretty pieces of bling in here. I've got one little cameo that has a fairy on it, and a piece of that trim that was on um, it's this trim here that's on my frame. So there's a piece of that in there that could be used on your picture frame. So there's that. And then I've got this bag. You guys are going to be able to do a lot of stuff with this giveaway. So hopefully maybe I'll get some more sales in my Etsy shop, get some more people into this raffle. If not, there's only going to be a few people that will be in this drawing so far. Like I said, I boo-booed and I just didn't, didn't get this information out soon enough. This is one of my uh, flowers that I made, a lace flower, and it's got tulle and a doily on the bottom of it and some pretty trims in there and one of my handmade roses at the top and just different laces and things. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I'm going to put one of my tulle butterflies in there. So this is one of the ones that I made in my video. And if you'd like to see the video on how I made these, um, that video, I can connect it to the end of this video so that you guys can, can have a look at that. So that is going in there. Pretty, pretty stuff. So there's our butterfly and our flower. This is going to be a great prize, you guys, so hopefully some more of you will get in and be part of this. Um, I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh, this is going in there, and this is a bag that has um, a few of my paper roses, and these are uh, roses that I get from Kiki's Sale. Beautiful, beautiful roses to use in your projects. And then these are some of the images that I am throwing in for you guys to use in journals or little books or things that you might want to put together or to put on top of your boxes that you're making. These are all just gorgeous, gorgeous. And these, these pictures here are great for using on dominoes or on those in those picture frames because you just have to cut it down just a little bit to fit in those picture frames and they're gorgeous. Here's another one. Isn't she pretty? And then here's another one that works great in those frames. You can see that's the one that I used to make this one. And you can see how beautiful she looks in there. So there's that one. <clears throat> 
And these that I'm showing you right now are all on cardstock. I think I already showed you that one. Um, there's that one. And that one. And then a pair of ice skates. And then these two are just on regular paper, but they're pretty. And I thought I would throw these in there as well. So those are going in there. So that's a nice little uh, package of images. I mean, people would be happy with just part of this package, I think. A few of the the small things that are going in here, and I'm really I'm really making this a nice one, you guys. And partly because I felt so bad that I was so late on on doing this that I had to do something really nice. And then there's this little organza bag and since we're doing a domino video today I thought I would throw in some stuff that can be used to make some domino charms so there's three dominoes in there Actually, I just need six of those. I don't know why I put so many of those in there. Um, there's six of the bezels. And lots of choices of images. And most of these images are the same ones that you just saw in the big bag. And there's two of each so that you can put it on front and back. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think you guys will have fun with this. Um, so as far as the um, dangle charms and stuff, I haven't put anything in here um, as of yet. I usually make my own dangle charms. Um, but I think I will come up with maybe um, some bits of of chain and dangly things that can be hung from these and then you would have to you know figure out you know whether you want to turn it into a keychain or uh, a necklace or something like that um, that would be up to you um, so anyway that is the giveaway and a couple of other little things will be going in there so that's a really good giveaway you guys so if you um, want to go do some shopping in my Etsy store you still have until the 28th to get in there and make a purchase that um, can go uh, to getting you into the raffle you have to spend fifty dollars or more in order to get into the raffle so that's that's the requirement and the only requirement um, and then you can get into it so these are the dominoes we're going to be playing with today. I have a um, inspirational quote that I'm going to read real quick. Anytime you doubt yourself, remember you are a strong soul who shines after any storm. You can literally get through anything. You have demonstrated that time and time again. Keep going. Keep shining. You got this. You got this, girls. We've all got this, right? Um, so I thought that was a nice quote. So that was the choice for today. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, the first thing that I do with these, and this is only going to take a second, is I take my Mod Podge and a brush. I left my small one in the other room, so we'll just use this big one pretend it's small um, <clears throat> and I just take one of these images and on this one we're going to be using this and I've already got her on the back side so I'm going to put just the one on the front but I do uh, I do do the front and the back of my dominoes and we're just going to make sure she goes on the right direction and this is so easy, you guys. So easy to do yourself. And I'm just centering her. Now this picture, I cut it a little bit small. 
but that's okay. It doesn't have to go to the edges. It's still going to work if it doesn't, and in fact, if her head isn't too close to the top, then when you put the, the embellishments on, or the bottom, I should say, top or bottom, um, you're not going to cover up her face and her hair and all that good stuff, so it works out okay. So that's, that's all I do, and then I would set this aside and just let it, let it dry before I start doing um, my other stuff. And I would do front and back, so that's what that one looks like. Okay, so we're going to put her aside. The next thing that we do, and I'll just do that with this one. Um, actually, I did not put... the um, pictures on the back sides of these. So we're going to do that really quick. And make sure I've got her going in the right direction. And I'm going to take this, honestly I should have done this ahead of time. I'm going to cut these little corner edges off. Just a quick snip. Just like that. And this one is just slightly long, so I'm going to take and just go, or slightly wide, I should say. I'm just going to take, well, goodness, and slice along this edge. I don't know why, but I can't seem to get a hold of it. Here we go. Just like that. And I want to get this off of here because it's got glue on it and I don't want it to stick to my my surface here. So there we go. We've got her on there. And then once I'm done with these I'm going to let my friend um, pick from which one of these she wants for me to send to her. So I'm going to give her some choices. All she knows is she wants a domino and I think she she wants a vintage lady so that's mostly what we're doing here today. But if she picks you know one of the other ones like this one, actually all the other ones are people. There's only one that's not people. So we've got her done. Let's do this one. This is my favorite image here. I love this one. She's just gorgeous. <clears throat> and we'll get our Mod Podge on there. And I'm sorry, I don't have my jar of Mod Podge. I had to dump it into this, and you can see I'm about to run out. Um, because... I'm cutting off these little corners here because um, I had left my bottle open and part of it got dried out and so I had to I had to move it into um, another container so I just poured it in this little sauce container and did it that way and there we go she is absolutely gorgeous. So I always use the flat side of my domino as the front side of my piece. And then the part with the, the markings on it is always the back side. So, and, and technically, you know, usually I spray paint my dominoes, all sides. But technically, you really don't have to do that because they are already white. All right, so now we need to put this lady on there. I do want to get all of these on, so we're going to go ahead and go through all of them. And this will only take a minute. I 
I usually work quite fast when I do stuff like this on my own. When I'm doing my my pieces just sitting here by myself, once I get in the groove, I can really get moving. <laughs> so let me get moving here and just get that on there nicely. If I don't keep moving it around when I try to press it down. Okay, there's that one. And this one. Real quick. I can usually eyeball it and figure out how much I need to cut off of these things too. After you've done several of them, you kind of get it all figured out and it's just a cakewalk. There's that one. And now I've got this one over here. And this is the last one I need to put on. This brush is way too big for these dominoes, but that's okay. And I think I need to cut just a little bit off of this one. Yep, that should be good. All right. Okay, there's that one. All right, so let's put our lid back on there and move that out of the way. And let's see, let's see, let's see, which one do we want to do? I think I'm gonna do this one, and this one I've already, as you can see, put some um, rhinestones around the edge, and the way that I do that we're going to take this one and we're going to go ahead and put some rhinestones on it. And I think for this one, let's see, I'm hoping I can make these work because these are a little bit bigger and sometimes they don't want to cooperate going around the corners. but we're gonna try and make this go. I think usually I do okay with them, but sometimes these bigger ones just are a little bit more difficult to work with because I have to make sure they're pointing upwards and when you point them upwards, they don't wanna twist around the corners as easily. So that's the hard part. And you can see I keep twisting them and they keep trying to go in the other direction. But I just want to get this figured out exactly how long I need it to be so I can cut it off. And I'm just going to cut this right there. So that I can work with it a little easier. And you can put that aside. Okay, so I'm going to use my E6000 to put this rhinestone chain on with. And I'm just going to run it along the edge here. 
all the way around. Trying very hard not to make a mess. We all know that E6000 can be very messy. Okay, and then I'm just going to start by holding this, and I'm going to start it at the top and just lay it so that the rhinestones are pointing forward. And this is kind of hard for me to do on camera because I have to be looking at it a certain way in order to make sure I get it on there correctly. So if I turn it away from you guys for a moment, I will come back to you. I just have to get it started right because the E6000 is still very wet right now and so they don't they want to slip out of place until that starts to cure a little bit and then they'll kind of sit where you tell them to. You can see it's these corners that will give you a little bit of difficulty, but if you work with it and play around with it enough, and the thing is, is I haven't done this in a little while, so I'm not in my, in my groove at the moment. My rhinestone groove. I used to do this daily, not just on dominoes, but on everything that I made. We put uh, rhinestones on it and I had my groove and this was one of the easiest things for me to do but so now my E6000 is starting to get a little sticky which is good that's exactly what I want it to do and I need to cut off this end rhinestone because I can see it's too long try and get that up and around that corner to meet the other side and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lay this down and you really need a completely flat surface to do this on so I'm gonna take this little box top that I have here and we're gonna use that because I know that's flat my tabletop is not flat at all so I'm just laying this down with the rhinestones pointing that way and I'm just kind of pushing this all along the edge because I want it to look straight around the front of the charm. Best way to do that is to lay it down so that all of your rhinestones are laying flat on this flat surface. And that way you're going to get it to be straight all the way around. And then I just kind of push it in a little bit so that it's touching the domino all the way around and touching that E6000 glue so that it will stay. And E6000 is a phenomenal adhesive. Um, once I get these, do these rhinestones on here, they're not going to come off once that glue has cured. So, and then what I'll do is I'll take a toothpick and just kind of run it along there, just like that. Run it along. And I think I've got it on there pretty good. And that E6000 has already started to cure quite a bit. So that's what we have on that one. Isn't that beautiful? So I am going to lay this on this box top for a moment and 
I'll show you guys. Um, as far as the um, the uh, bezels go, let's see, which ones do we want to do? This one's ready to, to put charms on. Sorry, you guys, I'm looking for some chain. I think I have some chain around here somewhere. Yes, I do. And we're going to turn one of these into a nice necklace. So I have this um, silver plated snake chain. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I bought this chain a long time ago. And it does tend to um, oxidize over time, and it's it's not it doesn't stay really perfectly great. So that's why I don't make a lot of necklaces with these chains because um, if you keep them in a baggie or you keep them wrapped, they stay really really nice. But once they're out in the air for a long period of time, that's when they start to not hold up quite as well. So you can see here's one that's been out and you can see how much darker that is than the other one. So that's what happens to these chains. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. I will not buy those again. Um, but as long as you keep it in a good place and you keep it, you know, out of the air too much, then they stay pretty nice. But anyway, you can clean them up too, though. I'm sorry, you guys. I got a blister on my finger last week. I burned myself um, with my glue gun and... Now that blister is wanting to pop open. I'm going to go get a Band-Aid real quick. Hold on. Okay. Um, so. Now, let's see. I'm going to put that aside. We're going to get... I have my little bezels here. Bezel? Am I saying the right thing? Somehow I feel like I'm saying the wrong thing. That's what I get for not working with jewelry for a while. And I'm just going to put a dot of E6000 on each one of these. And I mean just a dot. Don't overdo it because it will ooze. And close up that tube of glue. And we're going to put it on the back side. And I'm just going to center it here. And center the other one as best I can, and then I'll kind of work on it to get them in the right spot so that they're both pointing at each other and that the other side looks good, the front side looks good. I do like to finish the back sides of my dominoes. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I was off camera. I do like to finish the back sides, and oh my gosh, I bet I was off camera when I was decoupaging. Oh, I hope not. If so, I ruined the video more than likely. Okay, so we've got that one. I'm going to do this one here. I love this little girl. Isn't she adorable? That's another one that I really love. And I've got this little jar of a whole bunch of these. So we're going to get our A6000 back out here. I'm just going to grab a few of these and start getting them ready. 
because I do want to get all of these on so that I can finish them all up tonight, hopefully. I'll just do four of them for now. <clears throat> This is the back side of her. And I use the standard size dominoes, you guys, just the the big one inch by two inch dominoes. I think they're one inch by two inch. And they're about a quarter of an inch thick. That's what I like to use. I do not like the tiny dominoes that you get at the dollar stores, but if you like those, by all means, those are usable too, but for me, they're just too small, and I feel like I can't really do enough with them. Let's get this one, and we're going to... the back side okay just making sure I've got them centered and I'll put that one aside. And you gotta double check these because sometimes when you set them down, they move. They get twisted and then if they dry that way, you're gonna have to peel them off and do it over again. And unfortunately, your image will come off with them. So you wanna try and make sure you get them on straight the first time. And I've just got a couple more that I need to get on here. So I'm going to do those and I will be back. Okay, so we've got all of our um, bezels on those. And a couple of these, what I want to do is I was thinking I might try... Um, I think this might just be too big though. Um, let's see, which one did I do first? I think this was one of the first ones that I put the... Yeah, because this one's starting to get pretty solid. I thought about doing a couple of them and putting a lace trim on the edge. I thought that might be pretty. Um, but then I'm not sure if it will just be too big you know, and look too clunky, but uh, honestly, I think it would be pretty with the right lace. This lace would be super pretty on one of them, but I could do, like I was thinking, if I did this on this one, look at how pretty that would be with her. Isn't that gorgeous? And if I just did it on each side and then just embellish the top and bottom with something else, I was thinking maybe I could do that. This would be cool. Some of this lace fringe would be cool just hanging from one of them at the bottom. You know, it might make a neat, different kind of a, a finish. Just kind of like that. That might be pretty. Or I've got other... I've got other fringy laces. I just don't know if I have them handy. I really don't think I do. That doesn't have any in it. I've also got some of this kind of lace that I could take up the sides and just kind of have it fold over the top, sort of like that, but that doesn't really give do much for it. Uh, let's see, let's see. No, that's terrible. Um, uh, what did I do with all my fringy laces? Yeah. I think I put them all aside. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, what did I do with that? Let me find my fringe. Okay, so I found a few things to play around with, and you can see I've got everything all spread out here. Um, and I'm playing with different different goodies here. So let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna start with this one here. And I am going to add this beautiful charm to this one because I just think it goes very nicely with, with her. So I'm going to go ahead and I am not going to put rhinestones on all of these. Um, I decided I want to do these a little different um, and not go in so much to the rhinestones as the other embellishments. I'm going to try and make them a little more more shabby chicish. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Now, a couple of them I may end up putting rhinestones on, and we're not going to finish all of these today in this video for sure. But I'm going to do a couple of them to a finished uh, state, and then I'll do the other ones off camera. And I know it happens a lot of times. I end up with the ones that I do off camera look amazing, and, you know, they all look amazing in the end, but it's a little more um, a little more stressful when we're doing it on camera versus off camera. So I think that's why that happens sometimes. It just is kind of the way it goes. Although this one I think is going to be absolutely gorgeous and I think I'm going to do her on camera as well. But I did pull out some pretty laces and things. And so we're going to get um, creative with this. So here's what I want to do. I wanted to take possibly like uh, let's see. Take and put a couple of flowers and a little piece of lace on this. I think, though, what I want to do with this one is I want to take this great tea-stained piece that I got. Um, this came from Gail over at Fava of Four, and I think I'm going to use this. I still have a video that I need to do. Gail sent me a wonderful Wizard of Oz piece that I just love. And I just couldn't believe it when she sent it to me. I thought it was so thoughtful because she knows I like the Wizard of Oz. And it'll be another item that I got from one of my subscribers um, that is Wizard of Oz. So I just thought it was really, really cool but I'm not going to show you that today I'm going to do a separate video on that uh, and I will get to it shortly I've just got so many videos that I'm trying to do right now it's it's difficult to to get to everything and then maybe like that or should I go with a white flower I think the white flower looks really nice. Or I could take and use one of these that's sort of white and that uh, purplish color that's in these flowers that's, that's on this piece. I think maybe that's what I'm going to go with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this bow on. I decided I like this ribbon I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and I thought, you know what, that would be pretty. And it's nice and, and thin and small. So I thought that would work out really perfectly for these. Um, I do have this one teeny tiny flower here that would go nice with that. 
and I had, huh, I don't know what I did with it. Um, or I've got like, I've also got this one, which is a rosebud that I could add like that. That looks really quite pretty on this one. So I think I'm just going to go for it with this. Let me nip some of this piece off here and put this one down. I'm going to go with that side up. We're going to get that sort of underneath this rose. But I do need to pull it out a little bit so that we can get that other rose right in there. Kind of like that. I don't want to cover up the loop on that bow either. So, oh, wrong rose. I wanted to use this tiny one. That's why it wasn't fitting in there quite the same. Let me use that tiny little rose and there we go. That looks really pretty. And so now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to add this piece. And I got to add another jump ring to this because if I don't, it's going to go in the wrong direction. So let me get a jump ring. And I'm sorry you guys, all I have is silver jump rings. So that's what we're going to use. Now I just have to find the end of it. My eyeballs are just not serving me the way I would like them to these days. I really need a new pair of glasses is what I need. You know what? I think now that I think about it, I think there might have been, yes, there's an extra jump ring on here already. So we're going to use that one if I can find the end of it. Right there. Nope. My goodness, don't ever get old. I honestly cannot find, there it is. Oh, it's just a really strong jump ring. That's what it is. It's just super strong, That's which is a good thing. Now if I can just get it off of there and get it around this other one. And I need my other pliers here. And I want to make sure I attach this correctly so that it hangs the right direction because we want that cameo to come forward. Okay, make sure that that clicks in when you, when you put your stuff on those jump rings. Okay, and it's still not hanging in the right direction. So I'm and let's see if we can finish this guy up. I'm gonna grab this other jump ring. Because see that should hang like that. And that's going in the wrong direction. Oh I see. Okay. So it should hang like that with this flower poking up and all of that. So that means that this jump ring should go in that direction. So I think I've got it, you guys. And you can see that Star Bond super glue is working like a charm. There we go. So there is that one all done. Um, I was going to try, let's see here first before we say we're done. 
I was going to try putting something along the edges of this, something like that. Or maybe just on one side, adding a little piece of that lace. And that looks really pretty. Doesn't that look pretty? Or... Gosh, I wish I could take this Band-Aid off. It's driving me insane. Or I could take that. That looks really nice. And just have that on the one side. Just kind of draping off of it. I think that looks really pretty. Let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to cut this one little piece off. And we need three loops. Do we want all three of them on there, or do we just want two at the top? Or do we want that third one? Oh good, I can lift that up. I'm going to put all three of them. I want that vintage lace to go on the outside. So, put that aside. And here we go, you guys. I'm sorry this is taking so long for me to get all this stuff figured out. Alright. So, first I'm going to just put some hot glue right along here. Up to right there. I'm going to lay that right on top of it. And then for this piece down here, I'm going to lift up that vintage lace, lift that up and hold it back, and add a little more hot glue. And we're going to glue that underneath and then let that lay on top. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, you guys. This little bit needs to have a dot of glue and just be pulled over ever so slightly like that. Okay. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's what that one looks like. Here, let me turn it towards you guys so that you can actually see what it really looks like. There it is. And there's the domino at the top. And this beautiful, beautiful charm. I mean, look at all these great things that are hanging from this. It's awesome. So, whoops. So that one is done. It does not have a top piece, but I just don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. So I'm just going to do from here down. The other thing that I thought about doing, and I thought it would be really pretty, is I could take a little piece of this lace too, again, and just, let's just cut it and see how it looks. I'm going to cut right down the middle of it and just cut these two pieces to have them sort of come up at the top. We're just going to go for it, you guys. I just I feel I feel really good about this. So we're going to just go for it. I want it tea stained side up. I mean, it's tea stained all the way around, but one side looks more stained than the other side. There we go. Okay, so that's that one. I think that looks really nice at the top. It looks really vintage-y. I mean, that hangs over quite a bit, but what I could do... Look at me, I could just keep going with this guy. I just can't stop myself. What if I was to, because that just looks really white, if I was to take a little piece of this. I want the pink 
dots that are in that to show though. And just have a little piece kind of going up right there. Or from the top maybe. Just to make it like a corner piece. That looks pretty. And then I might have to find a little something to go in this corner here. Um, and what would that look like? It would look like there was something that I took off right here from another um, piece that might actually look good on this one up in that corner. Oh, let's see. Um, you know, I've got a ton of bling around here, but I didn't take out any of my flat flat blingy, blingy bits. So let me grab this container here and see if I can find something that lays kind of flat and is very, very small. It's got to be something really small. I just don't know if I have anything that small in here. Here we go. Here's a little gold rose. And that goes nicely with that lace. So if I put that right there, my full intention was to have something to put up in this corner, and here I go moving it around. Or I could take and just put a flower up there but I, I don't want to get too close to her face that's my problem I feel like I'm gonna end up covering up her face and that's not a good thing too pink um Gosh, you guys, I just don't feel like I, I don't know if I have anything small enough to go there. That rose isn't so pink. I'm looking to see, I had a few teeny tiny white paper flowers, but I think I've used them all up. There's one. It's my last one. And I'm going to go ahead and use that because I really do like the way the flower looks in that corner. It sort of brings everything together and I'm not covering up her face. Okay, so she's done. And I'm super happy with the way that turned out. And then, which one were we gonna do? I think we're gonna do this one, and we're gonna put that on there, hanging from the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay, I did, I did get that, okay. So I'm going to take this earring piece off of here. Oh, that came off easy. Okay. I love this dangle charm, and I love her, and I think these, look at the colors in those. They just go so nicely because you've got, you've got this pretty image of her 
And then this has those greens and purples and stuff in it, just like she does. So I think this is going to be really pretty with this one. So that's what we're going to use as the dangle charm. And I've got a jump ring. And what else do we need? I was trying to figure out what flowers I should put on her. Just like that. Or should I use the pinker rose? Like that. It's too pink. I like this one. I mean, I could use two of these. Oops. In those colors. But it's. I, I need a smaller rose to go in there. Um, with the other one. So that's that's what I need to do. Like that little white one. That looks pretty. Because she's got the white flowers here in this picture. Or I could go over here and those could be her flowers because I do love the side of her dress showing right there. I think that looks really pretty. And then we'll have that dangling from it. And we need to figure out something for the edges. We've got this lace. And maybe what I should do is just go around it with the lace. I think that would be pretty. Let's try that. We're going to go around the edges with this lace. So, I'm going to start with some hot glue here and lay that across there just like that. Oh, out of camera again, you guys. Oh my goodness, I think I might have ruined this whole video because I'm not getting. my desk far enough, my table. That's where I should be. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. And I can't get my camera to stick. Okay, I, I think I've got it set up better. I just hope I haven't ruined this entire video. I'm sorry, you guys. I had my camera totally in the wrong place. And I didn't realize it until just now. And I think I've been out of camera's view probably for the majority of the video. And I'm probably going to end up tossing this video aside. But if I do, I will just do a different dominoes. Call these two done. And I'll do another video. I'm hoping I don't have to do that because I don't have a ton of time to be creating a video twice, but if I have to, I will. Just because I did want to do this one. Just putting my hot glue all the way across. And we did it on the wrong side. Are you kidding? Ugh. Okay, we're going to pull that off. And cut it right there. I'll use that piece of lace for something else. Alright, let's try this again. i got to take off my glue. And of course it will peel off of these dominoes fairly easily. Okay. Let's try this again, you guys. Let's go. And that 
once the right side up. And I can see, you know, I don't know what's going on with that E6000, but I'm not feeling real confident about it right now that it is holding these bezels real well like it always has in the past. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe it's old or something. I don't know. But right now I'm not super happy with the way that it's working. And I think I may end up redoing all of these bezels with my star bond glue because I know that's working and it does not come off easily so I may end up having to redo all of these bezels I'm going to check on all of them and see or see if it's maybe just that I worked with it too soon but you know I've been doing these kinds of things for years with E6000 and working with them as soon as I get them done you know right after I get the bezels on I don't wait that long and I know people say you should and that's true you should wait longer but I've never had trouble with them coming off like that so that's kinda weird I just feel like maybe there is a problem with the E6000. Okay, so that's on there. So you can see we just have that little bit of lace going around the outside. And it looks very pretty. I mean, it doesn't look like much yet. And then we're going to take this. I want to make sure that's that jump ring is closed up and I need to cut this little string off of here okay so let's get this jump ring and let's see if I do this it looks like I'm gonna have to use two jump rings on this too so here's what I'm going to do. Let me get my package of them out and use a smaller one. I just want a very small jump ring to connect the two. There we go. And this one's probably like a three millimeter jump ring. And I'm just going to put that between the other two so that this is going to hang in the right direction. And we want the flower to point to the front, so... We're going to take this and put it in there and see which way it needs to go so that our flower is pointing in the right direction and that's the way it needs to go. And hopefully I'm not going to pull this bezel off doing this. Nope, that one's staying on just fine. But on this one, I feel like I would love to have something hanging down in the center of it. Wouldn't that be pretty? Like a little something like that. That would work. gonna take this right off of here. I think I got it on the wrong side. I didn't get it opened up far than far enough to get it off of there. There we go. And that would be pretty to hang from one of these too, the rest of that. So, since that's going to hang 
In that direction, I'm going to hang it from that center jump ring. If I can just get it on there. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, my eyes just are not what they used to be. Again, I need new glasses desperately. But that is not in the cards right now. So I'm going to have to live with what I've got for now. My glasses right now are about 10 years old, <laughs> if that tells you anything. And I know my eyes have changed considerably since I got these glasses, but that's okay. I can still craft and I can still do the things I want to do without too much trouble. Now I want to use some lace on this one as well, but I'm trying to figure out how do I want to use it. Or which one do I want to use? What I can do is I can take, let's see, oh, those two look good on there because she's got that color in her dress too. <clears throat> no, I think I like it better with the white the white flower in there, like that. Okay, so do I want to put a piece of lace on there? Yes, I do. And I really do like this lace here because it's so vintagey looking. Okay, so I'm just going to take and put a spot of glue in the center of that and put it down right there. And then I think if I can, I'd kind of like to ruffle that a little bit. So let's see if I can make that happen, just like that. Just a little bit on that edge. Okay, and I think we also need a little piece of that ribbon because it's the right color. So let's make a little tiny bow. Oh my goodness, you guys, my hands are not working. My eyes are not working. I'm not having the best luck today. I can tell I'm going to be working on this video for a while, trying to shorten it down a little bit, because I think it's going to be way too long if I don't. So, okay, there's our bow. And I think that's just big enough. I'm going to cut that. And it's pretty bad when your scissors won't even cut that little bit of ribbon. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to put my flowers down first. And then I'm going to put the ribbon on. Actually, I wonder if it'd be nice with just that one flower and the ribbon. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do on this one, you guys. We're just going to use one flower and put the little bow in there. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue there. And... 
puts our bow down. And I'm going to get a toothpick here before it all hardens up on me and just kind of press it in there. Okay, I like that. That looks really nice. little piece of glitter on it right there <laughs> and then maybe nope don't like that I think I might go with using a little piece of this at the top or let's see what else do I have here I do have this as well and I'm planning on using it on one of these somewhere, but I think that's too big for that one. I would love to have something fringy on this one, though. I think it would be so pretty. I don't want that there. Um... I feel like my brain has just kind of shut down on me all of a sudden. Sorry about that, you guys. Got a race car driver going down the street. Or someone that thinks he's a race car driver. <laughs> that looks kind of pretty on just that edge. I think I'm going to try that. Cut it right there. I want to cut that little edge off. So let's make sure it's going to be long enough. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm just going to go right at the very edge with this. And I need to get it on there quickly. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. I like that. Doesn't that look nice? And that's the dangle on that one. Just like that. Really pretty. I like the way this is turning out. Let me put her in that direction so you guys can get a good look at her. And I will zoom in on her some of this other junk out of the way here. Isn't that pretty? Let's get her right there. I love the way this one turned out. And here's, let's see, where's our other one? Here's our other one. Isn't that gorgeous? These turned out really, really beautiful. Okay, where am I here? Okay, there's that one. There's that one. I just can't place anything right. I'm just a mess today, you guys. I don't know what's going on. So there's those two. I think we're going to stop at this for today. Um, and I will be... Um, finishing up the rest of these dominoes and I will put pictures at the end. Um, what I may do is I may go ahead and continue filming and put up a part two of this video. I think that might work. We'll go part two and I'll finish up the rest of these and that way if you guys want to watch the rest you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. 
So, um, thanks for watching this video today, you guys. Don't forget about my Etsy shop giveaway. All of those great things are going into the giveaway for February. And again, we've only got, let's see, today is the 26th. We've only got two more days left in February that um, we can use to uh, get you into that uh, raffle. So head on over to my Etsy shop. Do some shopping if you think you might have. there might be something there that you'd like to have. Please um, make a purchase. It's got to be, again, $50 or more um, to get entered into the raffle. So... Um, Pretty soon, I might, I'm thinking I might do, um, maybe, maybe it would be good to do a raffle for um, people who spend $25 or more, and then a separate raffle for the $50 or more. I think I might, I might do that. Um, of course, the, the one for the $25 or more will be a smaller prize, but it'll be something really cool, you guys, and you'll know ahead of time. Um, so that you know what you're getting into if you decide you want to um, buy something and get included in the raffle. So, you know what? I think that's maybe what I'm going to do for the month of March. I'll do two raffles in my Etsy shop. Um, so those who spend 50 or more will get into the big raffle prize and 25 or more will get into the smaller prize. It'll be something really nice. It'll be just less of it. Um, not quite as elaborate as the bigger price, um, but it'll still be something really, really nice. So I think we're going to do that for March and see how that goes. Um, thanks a lot, you guys. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all of you who've subscribed to my channel. I so greatly appreciate it. Um, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, my channel is growing. It's not growing at the pace I'd like it to, but it is growing. Make sure you get out there and share my videos, like my videos, give the give this a thumbs up, and make make a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this um, this video and these domino projects. Thanks so much, guys. Love y'all. Take care. Bye bye. God bless.